This is my mother's favorite t-shirt. She used to wear it all the time. She bought it while on a trip to Texas in the 90s. It's super faded. Now she only wears it sparingly to try to keep it from fading anymore. I thought it would be a good candidate to use the press to try to recreate the shirt. I still have the original ink that came with the printer, so I will use transfer papers to practice with before moving on to sublimation inks. The first thing I did was take a high resolution picture of the t-shirt. I then imported it into some photo editing software. First, I traced the edges. If you look close up at the original t-shirt, the image is made up of dots. So the areas that appeared solid in color, I drew and filled in, and I used a dot brush to feather it out into the image. My eyes were picking up three shades of yellow dots in the original, so I laid a base color and then put two shades of yellow over the base. I did the same thing for the vine. I didn't trace the lettering. I chose a font that was available in the software that was close to the original font. Once I liked what I saw, I made the background transparent, saved it, and then sent it to the printer. A word about the transfer sheets. Basically, there are two types of transfers, one for light clothing and the other for dark. The light transfer paper is a polymer layer that becomes transparent when heat is applied. With dark transfer paper, the ending image will be printed onto a white opaque transfer paper. It's like this because ink has a translucent quality to it, so it needs a white background to make the color stand out. Now I could say the next section was just a demonstration on why light transfer paper on a black t-shirt doesn't work out, but I won't. I will admit I did not know ink had a translucent quality. Not knowing this, I speculated that the transfer for light t-shirt with the translucent polymer sheet would be better for my print because of the dot structure on my image. The blank spaces between the dots would be too difficult to cut out, so the translucency would work in the image's favor. So I thought. Okay, back to the press. For light t-shirt transfer paper, you must mirror your image. The polymer layer will face out with ink deposited on the bottom side. Essentially, you are pressing the ink image onto your t-shirt and it will be protected by the clear polymer cover. Next, I cut the image out. I'm leaving a buffer around the image. In my theory, it would protect the edge from curling and the black t-shirt would show through the heat activated transparent transfer sheet. June Taylor, the brand of transfer sheets I used, suggests for heat press that you use a temperature of 350 to 375 degrees for 20 to 25 seconds. I went with 375 degrees and 25 seconds. I pre-pressed the t-shirt to make it flat and measured it to place the image in the center. As you can see, because of the translucent nature of ink, it doesn't pop against the black background. Next, I used what I was supposed to use in the first place, dark transfer paper. For my image, I ditched the transparent background in favor of a black background. Also with the dark paper, you will not mirror the image. The ink will be printed onto the white paper, but the areas that would be transparent against a black t-shirt will now display black ink. Even the black ink has some translucent quality, but against the white paper, it will retain its color. Again, I printed the image onto the paper. I cut away the white unprinted areas and left a layer of black around the image. I thought it might help the edge colors pop more, but next time I'll not include this layer to save on ink. pre-pressed, then I measured to place the image in the center. I used the pressed paper provided and my own Teflon paper again. 
and I press with the same heat press settings as before, 375 for 25 seconds. Already I can tell it's much better. Here is a comparison of the real t-shirt and the copy. I used an old t-shirt for the first press. I did buy a new black t-shirt, but rarely have I tried anything new and it's worked out perfect the first time, so I gathered up all the old t-shirts my mom had and used those to practice. There's an issue with the mismatching of blacks. The printed black is much deeper than the faded black on the t-shirt. Next time I will not add a layer of black around the edge of the image, but a new black shirt I feel will blend better with the printed black. Although my end goal is sublimation, I will say I'm not super happy about the feel of the end product. It's the combination of the soft shirt and the hardness of the transfer. It makes it kind of unpleasant. So in the end, I learned that although light t-shirt transfer sheets are softer and have a better feel, they will not translate for a dark t-shirt because of the translucency of ink. If you have a dark t-shirt with empty spaces between your design, you will have to use transfer sheets for dark material and fill in the empty spaces with ink the color of your t-shirt. Also, I'm not happy about the color. The vibrancy that was on my screen did not translate to the print. I'm not sure if it's a software transfer problem or if the printer cannot translate the color profile from the file. I'm doing some research. I guess this is a plus for practicing with heat transfer sheets before sublimation inks. Thank you very much for watching.